let's factor this expression completely uh, so first i'm going to factor the gc of, of uh, 15 39 and negative 18. so the gcf is uh, the greatest to common factor of uh, 15 39 and let's say this is uh, 18 we can ignore the sign and this is going to be 3 because uh, 3 divides all the 3 numbers so first I'm going to factor the GCF which is 3 and when I do that I'll be left with uh, 15 x squared divided by 3 is uh, 5 x squared and then 39 x divided by 3 is uh, 13 x and then negative 18 divided by 3 is uh, negative 6. So we get this expression after we factor out 13. Now this can be uh, written in factored form. Uh, that is as a product of uh, two linear terms. So I'm going to write down this as uh, since it is uh, 5x squared. Uh, the product is 5x squared. So I put uh, 5x here and uh, x over here. And then we should have the product that is a negative 6. So I can use the two numbers that is uh, 2 as well as uh, 3. 2 and 3 multiplies to 6 but we should uh, look out for negative 6 and uh, the sum is 13. So 5x times uh, 3 is uh, 15x and uh, 2 times x is uh, 2x. So we have to have negative 2x which means this has to be negative and uh, this has to be positive so i put like this so therefore this is the uh, complete factor form of the given expression we now write this expression in factor form so first uh, i find the gcf of 6 26 and 18 that is uh, gcf of uh, 6 26 and 8 this is uh, basically 2 because uh, 2 is the highest common factor which divides 6, 26 as well as 8. So I'm going to first uh, factor out uh, 2 from this expression. When I do that, uh, I have to divide this by 6t squared divided by 2. This will be 3t squared. And uh, we have uh, negative 26t divided by 2. This will be negative 13t. And finally, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have written the factored form of this uh, given expression. But still, we can write down this. Uh, this is a quadratic expression in uh, product of uh, linear terms factors. So which we will do now. So therefore, this equals. We should have a product of uh, 3t squared. The first term should be 3t squared. So I put uh, 3t here and I put t here. And then we should have a product of uh, positive 4. So I'm going to use uh, the numbers 1 as well as 4. Uh, let's uh, look out for the sign of these two numbers. Since the sum is uh, negative 13, if you put uh, 3t, this will multiply to 12t. And if we put 1, this will multiply to t. But since we want negative 13t, we should give negative to both this one so that uh, this becomes negative t. This means we should put a uh, negative over here as well as uh, negative over here. So therefore it becomes 3t minus 1 times of t minus 4. So this is the factor form of the given expression that is uh, 2 times of 3t minus 1 times of uh, t minus 4. Now we write this expression in factor form so the first thing is to find the gcf of the numbers so the gcf of 6 and 24 this is uh, basically 6 because uh, 6 divides both numbers so i'm going to first factor 6 from this expression so when i do that i get uh, i'll be left with uh, x squared minus 24 divided by 6 is uh, 4. now we can use the difference of squares identity that is uh, uh, in fact uh, before that Let's uh, write this 4 as uh, this 4 can be written as uh, 2 squared. So I'm going to write down this as 2 squared. Now we can use the difference of squares identity. That is uh, a squared minus b squared. This equals a plus b or a minus b times of uh, a plus b. So here we see that uh, we can consider this as uh, a squared, which means uh, a equal to x. 
and we consider b squared as uh, 2 squared which means b equal to 2. So therefore when we use this uh, difference of squares identity we get uh, we have the 6 in front and then uh, a minus b that is uh, x minus 2 times of a plus b which is uh, x plus 2. So this is the factor form of this given expression.